Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how, how to upgrade this pole phrase 15 inch HMI uh, display from a CGFL to our UB54 series LED kit. This LED kit comes with two LED strips, one LED driver, one six pin pigtail. If you have watched my previous video before, I, I also make a video for the exact same model pole face. The model is UT3-JAG4-L. But that video is showing you using this type of the kit, you know, which is, comes with the wire adapters and, uh, you know, you can connect your existing inverter wire horns to this one. But the reason I want to show you this one is, I'm going to show you later, just one minute. Okay, uh, we can use this one. Okay, so let's set aside. I already removed all the screws. All right, so if you look at it, I already put two wire on it because that's a 24 volts. Um, so again, previous video I show you using these two LED strips with this one. So this one you just disconnect it and connect it here. You're done. So the video, the reason I create this video, I want to show you another way to get around uh, uh, to uh, to upgrade this LED kit. So because if you can see, this is the input VGA touch screens, inverter, this is a 24 volt converters. This is a 24 volt in, 12 volt out. So that's why uh, on the previous video we used this one. Because since our our driver can accept between anywhere between 12 to 24 volts, and then uh, we could actually direct solder here. The reason we do this because this one is bad. I show you, okay? Let me show it to you. I, let me find my 24 power supply. And then the generator again, the both at the same time. The symptom for this display is no backlightings. Okay, we can connect to here. Show you. And then flip overs. All right, I have to be really careful. I don't want to short anything out. Okay, so the, and this is a 24 volt. This is ground. Okay, so let me find my power supply. It's on. So there's nothing because there's no back guiding. If you kind of use, just touch any part, you can still hear the beeping sound which is touch screens working, but you can see anything. So shut off 24 volt power supply. Okay, then we're going to flip over and show you. Right, we can just kind of, we can leave with this one on. So 24 volts. Okay, I have a meter here. Um, hopefully you can see it here. I hope you can see it. So kind of any guang. Twenty four volt, right? Twenty three something. So, if you measure here, you can you have an input voltage. Twenty three, but here suppose output this is twenty four to twelve volt uh, uh, a converter. The reason they use this converter because back to then uh, not too many inverter can handle twenty four volts. So if you measure the output, nothing, 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 even though capacitor. So basically, if you want to repair this machine first, you have to replace this DC converter. It's easy to find, you know, easy to find it on eBay or anywhere on the website. You can find one, might, may not be an exact one, put it in. But since our driver be able to handle up to 24 volts, so we might just want to, uh, you know, leave it as is. Instead, connect the power from here, 24 volts. Okay, so first, we're going to identify the voltage here. So let's say which one is which one. It's this way easy for me to see, sorry. Uh, pin one, 24 volt. Pin three, 24 volts. Okay, so pin one, pin two, 24 volts. Okay, let's shut off power supply to find out which one is the uh, power guang. So set the power guang, you send it to a uh, resistance wrench.
So pin three, pin four, it's uh, one. So basically, uh, the enable, uh, we don't, we couldn't get the enable here. Well, so basically, we're gonna short out on the driver. We're gonna short out this JP two. I'm not sure if you be able to see it. Now, JP two. When we short out, we just apply the positive when negative among that fire the LED. So basically, instead of uh, replacing to try we we. I mean, replacing this DC 24 to 12 volt inverter, we're going to direct right into this 24 power supply to fire out. So we already identified pin 1, pin 2 on this connector is 24 volt positive, 3, 4 is power ground. So um, I'm going to rewire it. And then uh, first we remove this inverter first because we don't need it anymore. Okay. And. Okay. Okay, this is the right screwdriver that one's too small. Okay. I'm gonna show you again how to move that the backlight assembly. So this kind of this end, we don't need any more. So basically, just like other video show you, there's a plastic clip that was a uh, not plastic. Yes, yeah, it's, it's mounting a uh, this one. So let me show you how easy it is to pull out. Um, just pull up a little bit this end. You can't see that. You got it. So we pull out. Same thing on this end. Keep it up. 